when you ask somebody to do something for you and you get a response, I'll try. Go and ask another person because try is it's being recognized as an honorable way of saying I can't. And I can't either means I don't know how to, or more often, I don't want to. So try is my number one word on my list of words to avoid. And the next one on that list, and I have quite a few entries on that list, is I'll do my best. Well, that's another one I'm going to avoid because... The best isn't the same thing as saying, I'll get it done. Because either you're going to get it done or you're not going to get it done. And to say you did your best, that's another excuse word. Now, here's another thing to consider. Are you somebody when you need to know how to do something, to learn about something, you're making a choice, maybe where do I want to live? Do I want to move to another city, to another state? Do I want to change my job? Anything in your world where you're making a choice, how do you go about creating that final decision? Many people will go to who they know, their family, their friends, any place but to the experts. And you have to be very careful these days of the internet. There are hundreds, thousands, probably millions of people telling you they're experts, but they're not. An expert is somebody who does, who has done, who lives in whatever it is they're teaching. I wouldn't go near anybody who isn't in reality living that life. Now, what happens when you go to somebody who's not truly an expert? If you follow their advice, you have somebody to blame. If things don't go well, you'll blame them and you'll say, but that's what he told me to do. That's what she sent me. But the choice is yours. 